the Bektashi order, Turkish, Bektashi Tarakat, or the ideology of Bektashism, Turkish, Bektasilik, is an Islamic Sufi order, Tarakat, founded in the 13th century by the Wali, Saint, Haji Bektashvili who solely wrote in Turkish, his style was alike of the Turkistani authors yet resurfaces more of pre-Islamic elements. The order is particularly found throughout Anatolia and the Balkans. In addition to the spiritual teachings of Haji Bektashvili, the Bektashi order was later significantly influenced during its formative period by the Harufis. In the early 15th century, the Kalandriya stream of Sufism and to varying degrees the Gilatshia beliefs circulating in Anatolia during the 14th to 16th centuries. The mystical practices and rituals of the Bektashi order were systematized and structured by Bam Sultan in the 16th century after which many of the order's distinct practices and beliefs took shape. A large number of academics consider Bektashism to have fused a number of Sunni, Shia and Sufi concepts. Although the order contains rituals and doctrines that are distinct unto itself, throughout its history Bektashis have always had wide appeal and influence among both the Ottoman intellectual elite as well as the peasantry. The Bektashi order is a Sufi order and shares much in common with other Islamic mystical movements, such as the need for an experienced spiritual guide called a Baba in Bektashi parlance, as well as the doctrine of the four gates that must be traversed, the Sharia religious law, tariqa, the spiritual path, marifa, true knowledge, hakika, truth. Bektashism places much emphasis on the concept of wadat al-wujud, the unity of being that was formulated by Ibn Arabi. This has often been labeled as pantheism, although it is a concept closer to panentheism. Bektashism is also heavily permeated with Shiite concepts, such as the marked veneration of Ali, the twelve imams and the ritual commemoration of Ashura marking the Battle of Karbala. The old Persian holiday of Nowruz is celebrated by Bektashis as Imam Ali's birthday. In keeping with the central belief of Wadat al-Wujud the Bektashi see reality contained in Haq Muhammad Ali, a single unified entity. Bektashi do not consider this a form of trinity. There are many other practices and ceremonies that share similarity with other faiths, such as a ritual meal, muhabit, and yearly confession of sins to a barber, Magfrat is Unabdot. Bakdashi space their practices and rituals on their non-orthodox and mystical interpretation and understanding of the Quran and the prophetic practice, Sunnah. They have no written doctrine specific to them, thus rules and rituals may differ depending on under whose influence one has been taught. Bakdashis generally revere Sufi mystics outside of their own order, such as Ibn Arabi, Al-Ghazli and Jaluddin Rumi who are close in spirit to them. Bakdashis hold that the Quran has two levels of meaning, an outer, Zahir, comma, and an inner, Baitan. Dot. They hold the latter to be superior and eternal. And this is reflected in their understanding of both the universe and humanity. This view can also be found in Ismailism, see Baitan Ayur. Bakdashism is also initiatic and members must traverse various levels or ranks as they progress along the spiritual path to the reality. First level members are called Askstot. They are those who, while not having taken initiation into the order, are nevertheless drawn to it. Following initiation, called Nasip, one becomes a Muip. After some time as a Muip, one can take further vows and become a Dervish. The next level above dervish is that of Baba. The Baba, lit. Father, is considered to be the head of a tech and qualified to give spiritual guidance, Urshad. Above the Baba is the rank of Halif Baba, or Didi, Grandfather. Traditionally there were twelve of these, the most senior being the Didebaba, Great Grandfather. The Didebaba was considered to be the highest ranking authority in the Bekdashi order. Traditionally the residence of the Didebaba was the Paravi, the saint's home which was located in the shrine of Hajji Bekdash Wali in the central Anatolian town of Hak Bektas, aka Soluka Karahuyuk. The Bektashi order was widespread in the Ottoman Empire, their lodges being scattered throughout Anatolia as well as many parts of Balkans and the imperial city of Constantinople. The order had close ties with the Janissary Corps, the bulk of the Ottoman army. With the abolition of Janissaries, 
The Bekdashi order was banned throughout the Ottoman Empire by Sultan Mehmed II in 1826. This decision was supported by the Sunni religious elite as well as the leaders of other, more orthodox, Sufi orders. Bekdashi texts were closed and their dervishes were exiled. Bekdashis slowly regained freedom with the coming of the Tanzimat era. After the foundation of Republic, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk banned all Sufi orders and shut down the lodges in 1925. Consequently, the Bektashi leadership moved to Albania and established their headquarters in the city of Dirana. Among the most famous followers of Bektashi Sufism in the 19th century Balkans were Ali Pasha and Naim Frasheri. Despite the negative effect of this ban on Bektashi culture, most Bektashis in Turkey have been generally supportive of secularism to this day. Since these reforms have relatively relaxed the religious intolerance that had historically been shown against them by the official Sunni establishment. In the Balkans the Bektashi order had a considerable impact on the Islamization of many areas, primarily Albania and Bulgaria, as well as parts of Macedonia. By the 18th century Bektashism began to gain a considerable hold over the population of southern Albania. Following the ban on Sufi orders in the Republic of Turkey. The Bektashi community's headquarters was moved from Hak Bektas in central Anatolia to Tirana, Albania. In Albania the Bektashi community declared its separation from the Sunni community and they were perceived ever after as a distinct Islamic sect rather than a branch of Sunni Islam. Bektashism continued to flourish until the Second World War. After the communists took power in 1945, Several Babas and Dervishes were executed and a gradual constriction of Bektashi influence began. Ultimately, in 1967 all texts were shut down when Inverhoxa banned all religious practice. When this ban was rescinded in 1990 the Bektashism re-established itself, although there were few left with any real knowledge of the spiritual path. Nevertheless many texts, lodges, operate today in Albania. The most recent head of the order in Albania was Hadji Rishat Badhi Didibaba, 1935-2011, and the main tech has been reopened in Tirana. In June 2011 Baba Edmund Brahimaj was chosen as the head of the Bektashi order by a council of Albanian Bibas. Today sympathy for the order is generally widespread in Albania where approximately 20% of Muslims identify themselves as having some connection to Bektashism. There are also important Bektashi communities among the Albanian communities of Macedonia and Kosovo, the most important being the Haribati Baba Tech in the city of Titovo which was until recently under the guidance of Barbara Tahir Remini, 1941-2006. Following the death of Barbara Tahir Remini, the Didlik of Tirana appointed Baba Edmund Brahimaj, Baba Mondi, formerly head of the Trintec of course, to oversee the Haribati Baba Tech. A splinter branch of the order has recently sprung up in the town of Kaisava which has ties to the Turkish Bektashi community under Haydar Erkan Didi rather than Tirana. A smaller Bektashi Tech, the Dikman Baba Teksi, is in operation in the Turkish-speaking town of Kanalasi, Macedonia that also has stronger ties with Turkey's Bektashis. In Kosovo, the relatively small Bektashi community has a tech in the town of Dikovica. Gjakov, and is under the leadership of Baba Muman Lama and it recognizes the leadership of Dirana. In Bulgaria, the Turbs of Dlamai Baba, Akhyazl Baba, Dima Baba and Otman Baba function as heterodox Islamic pilgrimage sites and before 1842 were the centers of Bektashi texts. Bektashis continue to be active in Turkey and their semi-clandestine organizations can be found in Istanbul. Ankara and Isma. There are currently two rival claimants to the Dedebaba in Turkey, Mustafa Eek and Haydar Erkan. A large functioning Bektashi tech was also established in the United States in 1954 by Barbarik Sib. This tech is found in the Detroit suburb of Taylor and the tomb, Turby, of Barbarik Sib continues to draw pilgrims of all faiths. Haribati Tech Controversy In 2002 a group of armed members of the Islamic Community of Macedonia, ICM, the legally recognized organization which claims to represent all Muslims in Macedonia, invaded the Haribati Baba Tech in an attempt to reclaim the Tech as a mosque, 
although the facility has never functioned as such. Subsequently the Bektashi community of Macedonia has sued the Macedonian government for failing to restore the tech to the Bektashi community, pursuant to a law passed in the early 1990s returning properties previously nationalized under the Yugoslav government. The law, however, deals with restitution to private citizens, rather than religious communities. The ICM claim to the tech is based upon their contention to represent all Muslims in Macedonia, and indeed, they are one of two Muslim organizations recognized by the government, both Sunni. The Bektashi community filed for recognition as a separate religious community with the Macedonian government in 1993, but the Macedonian government has refused to recognize them. Poetry and Literature Poetry plays an important role in the transmission of Bektashi spirituality. Several important Ottoman era poets were Bektashis, and Yunus Emre. The most acclaimed poet of the Turkish language, is generally recognized as a subscriber to the Bektashi order. The telling of jokes and humorous tales is an important part of Bektashi culture and teaching. Frequently these spoke fun at conventional religious views by counterpoising the Bektashi dervish as an iconoclastic figure. For example, a Bektashi was praying in the mosque. While those around him were praying may God grant me faith, he muttered may God grant me plenty of wine. The Imam heard him and asked angrily why instead of asking for faith like everyone else, he was asking God for something sinful. The Bektashi replied, well, everyone asks for what they don't have. A Bektashi was a passenger in a rowing boat traveling from Emenonu to Yuskada in Istanbul. When a storm blew up, the boatman tried to reassure him by saying fear not, God is great. The Bektashi replied, yes, God is great. But the boat is small. An imam was preaching about the evils of alcohol and asked if you put a pail of water and a pail of rack in front of a donkey, which one will he drink from? A Bektashi in the congregation immediately answered, the water. Indeed, said the imam, and why is that? Because he's an ass. 